four, and then speed. Again, it's Oregon. They're gonna have speed, so let's get into the breakdown. If y'all like this, I beg you, please drop a like so I know to do more of these. If if we get more likes or comments or whatnot, I will maybe do more than just one a week. But for now, I think I'm gonna stick with one because is it they're doing fine. But um, let's see here. So backside cut after they get a very good block seal there. So let's let's go back here. Oregon motions this running back out. A lot of the times that's either A, their only option to throw the ball, or B, it's just a decoy to get one less dude in the box for this QB to run the ball. So as this play you see QB um QB draw. Look at this line though. Look at that. That is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. No no gray silver hats, whatever you want to call it, in the box. We'll take gain a seven on or gain a nine actually on first down. But see, so this is this is what I was talking about. They motion this running back. And so you can either run it or throw it. See how all these three wide receivers are going to engage in a block. Eventually, I want to say there's maybe one play later in the game where one of these dudes actually goes out for a route, but it's mostly set up to be like a halfback slip screen kind of, if you will. Um, this play, good slip by the running back, just dropped it. Kind of a bad ball. Um, this play should have been a false start. I don't, I don't know what the refs are doing. Oh, wait. This is the false start. Okay, I was I was uh, I was one one too far ahead in my notes, but false start seventy four doesn't even know what he's doing. Um, here we go. This is this is what I'm talking about. Pulling scheme on this play is unique. So you got this tight end here. He pulled all game. This is kind of what UCLA did, and it's interesting because it's a Pac twelve team. They pull to this end or like if they're on this side of eventually he pulled and just took one of the nose guards here but it's 12 you gotta put your hands on him man you can't block like that we'll take we'll take five look at this is that is that a wide receiver or oh that's a wide receiver never mind never mind completely forget what i was gonna say um we'll take four though assignment football ladies and gentlemen Alright, we're gonna get a better look here. So, here's that pull. Takes out the end. Everyone just doing their 111th. O line knows their. Oh, look at that. Forget what I'm talking about. Look at that. O line knows their assignment, though, folks. Like, the, I was impressed at how wide open this pocket is for this man to throw the ball. But look at this catch. Beautiful. Okay, so this is another thing they did. So let's let's watch this right side guard. This is RPO here. Or yeah, I'll call it RPO. He pulls. I've never seen that before. And then got another pull, seventy eight and seventy seven. That's like one of the first times I've actually seen them um, not like really win a rep really but here we go double pull here it's going too far back so th this is a very interesting pulling scheme guard and tight end pull tackle stays so f in all reality 53 should pick up that dude and 19 should seal I believe that's actually what they do Yep, 19 just waits. But look at all this time. He can even run it if he wants to. But instead, uh, risky throw. Blocking is great here. 18, way to block. That's what we like to see. Too many, too many dudes nowadays that play tight end or receiver, even running back. They don't block. I mean, that's... 
That's an effective way to block, but um, huge hole or huge wall, excuse me. So here we go. So this play actually lost Ohio State the game. So they pull. They're reading this DN with the handoff, and so I, I really like the way they designed this play because now you got a numbers game. A DN probably isn't catching the quarterback until he gets this first down. This dude will man up on that, and he either has to decide to take the quarterback or stay with him. And so he stays with him, and look at that. And then stiff. Are we, we going to call that a stiff arm to the ground, or is that just forward progress? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's look at 53 on this play. Look at that man run. Pulling guard. They do a backside seal here. Reading this D end. Side is sealed there. So really, it's just whether you make this read or not. And you, you made the good read. And then 53 with the hustle, the effort. That's what we like to see. All right. Again, all day, just slightly overthrown here. So, another polling tight end. What is this D? What is this D lineman doing? Can can I ask that? I mean, he literally blows up the play by doing it, but he's cutting inside, and the ball is right there. I. Like, he's literally trying to go downfield and the ball is right there. I thought that was interesting. Um, here we go. Th this is one of the best plays they have. So they do a little bubble screen. I believe this dude actually goes on a post. And then this dude is just crossing. You do a little play action read here. That dude's not on a post. And then tight end slip. Cross, make the read. To eventually, 12 actually just continues to go out for routes. I really like that Oregon mixes it up. It's not just the same play action crosser where the dude's just in the flats automatically. And they really incorporate these tight end slips really well. 53, man. We got to pancake that man. This, this was also weird. So they do they do a pull here, and then that dude's going to lead block. But if, if we sat here and looked at this, and we had to guess how many yards this dude gets, like, he should be scoring this. This dude should take the first dude. This dude should take the faster dude, or actually, it would be the slower dude. But instead... Three kind of lollygags, and then actually makes the play because 53 couldn't block him. And then a uh, slot corner just goes unblocked. That, that was a good blitzing scheme by Ohio State. Um, just thrown behind him. He, This quarterback, no disrespect to him, he can't make a read. I mean, granted, half the time his dudes aren't open, but you'll you'll see. He doesn't make reads. I think Oregon's offense is so simple that he literally knows who he's throwing it to prior, and then probably four throws out of the whole game. He actually has to decide um, which dude to throw to. Here we go, quick hitter here, five and out. Get the first down. That's actually like a ten and out, but... Just lost a rep. Lost a rep, that's all. Alright, here we go. Great seal by 8 here. And then, watching this for the first time, I was completely fooled. So, I thought he was throwing it to this dude. And he was just that bad at throwing the ball. And then I see it's, oh no, it's a 30 yard field, 30 yard downfield laser. Alright, so we, get, we got a new blocking technique here 53 with a cut or 56 rather uh, if you want to call that a cut but this 12 dude 
I, I like that he pulls. But you gotta use hands. Oh, I don't mean to touch that. You gotta use hands, bro. So fourth and one. I I don't know if they scored on like defense or what, or if this dude just left a play out. But um, all day, this ball's catchable. It's not not the best throw. Assignment football, like or Oregon's O line does it. Here we go. Takes off. And then boom. Sit down. Right in front of their bench. Oofta. Alright. All day still. And yeah, he's throwing into coverage. Alright. Play action. Routes are just open, man. This these tight ends. They're like actually I suppose. Okay, yeah. So like, I don't know if they lined him up outside. They go unaccounted for. Like, no one is guarding these two, really. But wide open, quick hitter. We'll take it. We'll take it. Still all day. R risky throw, double coverage. Double coverage. Here we go. Good poise, good step up. Good ball. Good ball. And yeah, holding. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, it's pain. Alright, he's got all day still. This running back? This left tackle kind of got beat like a horse all game in, in the pass blocking game. I'm glad this running back picks up. But all day. Horrible throw. Into coverage. So, third and 20 before half, we're just going to run the ball. We'll take five. We'll take five. Start second half. Tight end pull. Let's see, we got that route available now. And we'll take a gain of three. Believe this is, yeah, this is the design QB run. So, they, they went back with that route. And see how all three of these dudes are just ready to engage in a block. That's why I think though that play is literally designed either um a throw to the running back or he's just gonna take off he took off here 53 out here eating big hole just gone three is celebrating um kind of surprised that dude didn't tackle him but let's uh let's look at this block here so we're re we're reading this d end Brown does a really good job at reading this D end. I will give him that. I suppose you're in Oregon's offensive system. You're going to have to read it. But that dude is covered. Is that a holding? I don't know. Anyways, good read. Hole is huge. And so now it's literally just one on one here. And 17 took a bad angle. And then three is celebrating at the 45. And his dude almost makes the play. <laughs> Here we go. We got 56 out here. So this is this is my only question. Obviously, this is out of trips, so this might answer my question. When, when we run this QB run, design QB power, why are we going to the short side of the field? Don't we want that to be on the long side? Is it because we have trips, which we got screen set up. Um, is it because we have trips? Or could we come out in a better formation for this to where we get our playmaker on the long side of the field instead of the short side of the field? We're not going to complain about this play, though. 56 with a good pickup. That dude, eh, I don't know what he's doing. We'll take 13. 13, yeah. And then wide open. Let's try to get that first down, though, man. Let's see. that Like, this is all they ran. Just, we could call this RPO with that dude um, pulling. Look at 77, getting nasty. And then, yeah. Gain of nine, we'll take it. Oh, we, we've already covered this. Never mind. 53, 19. Pulling. And then face mask there. 
It almost is that. I think that's technically a horse collar too, but we're not gonna talk about it. All right. So now, now we actually get to throw the ball and make a read here. Dude pulls still. I I really honestly think that's weird. I've never, to my knowledge. I've never seen people pull on a pass, but unless it's like a play action pass or like a rollout, but this dude isn't rolling out. So now we actually get the progression, good reads, dude's just wide open. That dude, I don't know what his route is. Okay, so he's got a post, but finds the wide open man. We'll, we'll take that. So now let's look at the time, 8.08, .08. we're doing a pull. Um, this dude runs a corner, I believe. This dude, I don't, I don't remember what he's doing. Eight oh six left in the third quarter, and this is the first time this quarterback gets pressured and throws an incomplete pass. Not the first time he's thrown an incomplete pass, but if your if your quarterback is getting pressured for the first time with eight minutes left in the third quarter you have a really good chance of winning like that that's very impressive so here we go that decoy again did it, i don't think anyone even okay we got one bite on it so now it's literally just a six versus your seven eight technically and then 53 bull in here you could probably take it that way. I think it's more designed to go right here. But 18. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, man? And then 53, dude. This this man, 53. I, I like him. Shows great effort. Pulling. Makes the read. I like that seal. That seal is huge. I don't know what this DB is doing on that seal. Just gets sucked in, probably ball watching, but I literally gave him the touchdown. Okay, I was like, he's already froze here. And 53 is out here. Alright, this is something similar to our quarterback power we were talking about. But, so they motion this dude in, who gets a great seal on that D end, allowing this dude to pull. This dude's just got one on one with him. He doesn't win it. But why why can't we run this? So they, they come out. I wish I didn't scroll back far. Why can't we run this where the running back is on this side and we have this whole two-thirds of the field to play with instead of just this one-third? Like, I'm pretty sure UCLA did this too. Why Why can't we do that? Why can't we do that? 71 just whiffs here. You're not going to win every rep. You go mesh concept. Umpire almost gets hit. Finds the open man, though. We'll, we'll take the first down. This is what we like to see. Free play, taking shots deep. We'll take a uh, offsides whenever we can get it. I, I like that he threw it deep, though. I hate when I see people get their free play and they don't throw it deep line is lines getting nasty now we'll take three on first and five and here we go look at that finish let's go line is getting nasty and then he sits on top of him that's what we like to see all right i i totally got lost in my notes here hold up uh, good something 18. What do, what does 18 do here? Oh, good pull. Okay, good pull and pick up, and then just throwing away. I believe this this just oh flag. Okay, I was like I have flag, but I don't see a flag. Alright. Legal man downfield. That, that's one thing that's weird about the RPO is 
how do the linemen like know whether they're running it or not but this is a risky throw double covered I think that's the outside linebacker that's a corner I don't know how that ball wasn't caught by either Ohio State or Oregon like I'm I'm actually really concerned but I don't know if this was a designed uh, like oh, oops I don't know if this play uh, went too far back. What I was saying is, I don't know if this play is like supposed to just be a straight handoff. But if we pull that ball, I mean, this DB is watching him. If we pull that ball, we either got five, six yards running if that dude takes the tight end. Or we got a little slip pass if that dude takes him. Because there is no corner out here besides this one. And I'm not good at math, but two-on-one is really good. And finds the open man. Cover two, just finds the corner. That's what we like to see. Now, now is when you realize Oregon has won the game. First and ten. Line is five yards... The pile is five yards down the field. D linemen are all on their ass, and we're getting five yards of carry. Like it is, it's closing time, folks. Let's let's look at this pocket here, shall we? They do their little thing. Oh, I paused it too late. All right. All day. You could even probably run this if that dude picks up there. You can run that for five yards. Instead, we throw it to the wide open dude. He just drops it. Here we go. 53 again, dude. Making plays. Making plays. Another pull. Reading the... I don't know if that's a read on the DN, but... We'll, we'll take it. Here we go. Tight end slip. He was wide open. This is what this is what I meant by uh, incorporating the tight end. So they motion that dude. He motions back. He's sealing this dude. I don't. I don't think he's meant for a route here. All eyes are on the quarterback. That seventeen is that dude's dude, and yeah, he's he's focused on that. And here we go. Look at. Look at this pile, folks. That is a massive pile. We we are winning the ground game. We're winning the line of scrimmage. We're going to win the game. And here we go. Just got to catch the ball. It's right to him. False start on that receiver. That corner is hype for no reason. Third and twelve, let's put this game away. What is it? Holding for five yards? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this ball is deflected or not. But or if it's just that bad of a throw, but great great play by twelve. We we gotta give credit where it's due. Great play by twelve. I really like this play design. I don't like the execution though. What do we pull here? The tackle and the guard? Or the tight end and the guard, I mean? No, we pulled the center and the tackle. Okay. But yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll take three. Two. Two. And this ball is deflected. Probably have a first down. Third and eight. Probably should have been picked, but I'm not going to talk about it. Running back to running the ball. We'll, we'll take four. We'll take four every carry. Design QB run here. Still get three, I think. Yeah, three. So now third and three. Here's the play I'm talking about. 
Th this is what we like to see. So this DN gets washed in. I believe this is actually who they have to make the read off of now. But it's just so deadly. We got run option, run option, or pass option. We got pass option, third and three to number 12. I'd like him to stay in bounds, but now it's just time to close out the game. Good pull by 12. Gain a three. Big hole. So now we got third and four. Design QB run. He only gets a yard, or he's a yard short, but that's the last offensive play of the game. So they must have punted it then. I don't know how it ended. I was at Oklahoma State's game, but that's all I got for y'all today. Drop a like, drop a comment, and I'm a